All right, guys, what's up? It's your boy here, Ryan, Rye Beats. How's everybody doing? Today's the day that we burn the screen on that Ryanette base layer. Okay? Okay. Okay? Let's do it. What up? First, let's go ahead and turn on the exposure unit. The exposure unit that we're using is the Anatol um, Aurora. It is a LED. I forgot what the size of it, the thing is, but it is the Aurora. This fits my uh, automatic screens, which is the 31 by whatever. I don't even know the size anymore. <laughs> but um, yeah. All right, so there's two things that we're doing. I can show you guys. We're burning two screens. Why is that one so bright? Yeah. We're burning two screens. One is, um, we're, we're gonna be using the the film that Ryanet sent us with the package to try it out, because I think it has some half tones and things like that. Where's this from? I don't know. Yeah, so it does have half tones. Um, that, uh, wait a minute. I didn't burn a, see how it has a, half tone under the base layer. So we're gonna be using this one on one end. Whoa, whoa, God dang it. This one on the other end, and we're also burning a project, which is this one, which is my um, project. We gotta print next day or so. Oh yeah, so two screens. We got the base layer and the uh, actual, project project before that let's get prepped up as you guys know I do have um, a pre-registration template that I made which is this guy I don't really like putting it on a table I just like to lay it on the floor lay it on the floor so that's what we're doing oh actually I do have a table can I use a table all right we'll use the table <laughs> all right look it's on the table yay so we're gonna start off with, with this one that says base layer. We'll just do it like that. Just like that. All right, let's go over here to the actual unit. All right, so for, okay, so the technical data sheet says so these are suggested, so make sure you guys are doing your own test to figure out the exact timing for you, um, especially for your um, exposure unit. Since this is an LED, um, it says mesh color white, standard is about seven to eight seconds. So we're gonna try, I have mine set at nine seconds. So let's try it, nine seconds, because that's what my BPR works at, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, here we go. There's the countdown. get um, some water spray it down if you have a dip tank full of water works out great looks like it's coming out Ooh. all right this one's the actual job I changed my mind we're gonna put this one on a 110 uh, not a 180 or not a 160 but we'll put this on a 110 
All right, guys, we're gonna let these things uh, dry out in the sun, harden a little more, and uh, we'll, we'll take a look at it after that. All right, ooh, sun's out. All right, guys, here's the screen. Let's take a look at it. All right, let me show you guys what's going on with this one first. Um, let's look at this one. I know it's on sideways, but it says elevate your dark room. This is on a 180, as you guys can see. Um, it does have a little bit of a pinholing, but um, that's probably my fault. I didn't clean my uh, my glass there. But if you guys could see, we do have a little bit of um, detail there. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. And I was wondering about this earlier. Um, let me show you guys. What's going on here? So if you guys look at this one, look at the A. See that? See that line right there? Don't don't think about that because that's actually my fault. <laughs> that's actually tape. I forgot to take the tape off um, on the screen. So um, yeah, that's my fault. But if you look at the other things, a little bit of half tone. I guess you could say it's half tone. A little bit of detail there, which turned out pretty good. This one, um, I don't know why that's there. See these? It looks like an R. I'm not sure. That could be from exposing, um, not exposing, but um, cleaning my screens. I don't think I cleaned it that well. So that has nothing to do with the um, the base layer. But you guys can see it, it cleared out pretty, pretty good. Pretty good, especially this one. Let's see if I can get a better shot at it. You see the little dots there? Really sharp. Again, this is on a, um, a, a 180 screen. Now let's look at the other one, which is the actual project that we got going on. So, it's really clear. It was easy. It blew out um, a little bit. So, I'm getting some pinholes here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's the same spots on the uh, on the other one. So I think that's um, I have to clean the uh, the exposure unit. But if you look at the screen, it's pretty clean. Pretty clean to be honest with you guys. I did do a one over one coat on this and burned it at the same time or the same timing as my VPR, which is, was it eight seconds? No, nine seconds. And it turned out, it turned out just fine. But yeah, like I said, there's a little bit of pinholing. I'm not sure, but I think that's from my um, exposure unit. Um, I should have cleaned it before, but this is ready to go. This is on a 110, by the way, it's 110. Now let's go back to the test this is a 180 it says elevate your dark room i know you guys can probably see it but the little dots that's on the um uh on here it it blew out nicely so yeah everything's there um i'm going to uh get this thing printed later tonight um i just have to run some errands i gotta go to the post office well actually i gotta go to fedex ups and then oh man i gotta go to all three of them <laughs> and USPS and uh, I gotta just drop off and pick up a couple of things and we'll probably gonna print this in a few hours hopefully hopefully in a few hours um, hopefully we still have the sun or the daylight probably not but we'll be right back okay what's up guys it is the following day um, I just didn't get to it <laughs> I had dinner and um, watching the Warrior game get their butt kicked and I passed out so <laughs> let's go ahead and get this thing loaded up and let's see how it goes all right let's load it up to the press if you guys are wondering i am using 
Oh no, did I just pop the screen? No, I didn't. Um, we're using the Anatol Thunder Press. Thunder! Thundercats. Thundercats Press. <laughs> Thundercats. Who remembers Thundercats? Put in the comments if you guys uh, remember Thundercats and if you guys know anything about Thundercats. I forgot all their names. All the characters' names. Anyways, that's not what we're talking about. Let's go ahead and load up the um, the screen here for the um, the base layer, the base layer stuff. All right. Oh. This thing is in the way. Let me move you guys real quick. Oh. Uh, it's not gonna be centered. It doesn't have to be centered. It's just, it's just a test print, guys. Oh, you know what I need to do? I gotta tape the sides. Yeah, so we're gonna be printing this on a white uh, Hanes 50/50 heavyweight. Heavyweight meaning that I think it's about like six ounces, almost seven ounces. It doesn't matter. Um, we're gonna be uh, using uh, black. You know what we could do? Since um, this is Ryanet stuff, we're gonna be using the F and Ink black. Just makes sense, right? It just makes sense to use. All right, let's do this. It doesn't matter if they've been sitting for a day or a couple of hours. Stir it up. I'll need a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so that's what we're looking at. Uh, don't worry about this thing on the A there. That's my fault. <laughs> but if you look at it, Look at the dots, the fine dot, the dots there. It looks really good. Again, we're printing on, what is this again? This is a 160, was it? I forgot now. Oh, 180, 180. So there's a 180. What we're gonna do is, so this is a one pass. Let's do a print flash print. Uh, let me turn on the uh, conveyor here. Not conveyor, but the uh, the flash. All right, so we're gonna do a print, flash print. There it is, guys. Here's the final result, I guess. Print, flash, print. Let's look at this, uh, the dots here. Let's go ahead and, and, and do the other design. Let's tape up the bottom. All right, guys. So this is the second design from um, from the package, I guess, the uh, transparency. This is uh, we did a print, flash, and print. Check it out. Again, you can see all the dots. All right, guys. Well, in conclusion, um, base layer is definitely uh, a an option for those of you who want to try other um, emulsions in in the industry. Um, but if you're like me, a VPR guy. It's definitely the option to go. Um, it, it acts like the VPR, it exposes like the VPR. It's just fast. It's fast exposing and a little bit of waterproof. Yeah, so for those of you who are doing water-based um, printing, um, you shouldn't have any issues with the base layer. 
um, as far as degradation, um, I think it works out. It works out really well. So, but you know what? Don't take my word for it. Go ahead and go get yourself one and try it out. You just gotta try it out, right? Uh, make sure it works for your shop and it works for your system. So um, yeah, go ahead and um, give Base Layer a try. I'm sure you won't regret it. All right, guys. Well, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.